you see these scars right here? I've had five knee surgeries in my life and four on this knee alone. And I've had to figure out how I can work out with knee pain. And I'm gonna show you my favorite exercise to help you fix that in this video. Hey there, Coach Tyler here with We Shape, where we help you move better so that you can feel better in your body. And let me ask you something. Do you suffer from knee pain? Because there's plenty of reasons why you might have knee pain right now. And while you can't necessarily do just one exercise that will solve your knee pain problems, just like that, you can learn how to move and strengthen areas that will take the pressure and tension off of your knee joint. And the best movement for this is called the drinking bird. Why? Well, the knee is a hinge joint. It's supposed to move forward and backwards like this. It's not really supposed to move side to side like this. And when we move side to side, we put a lot of pressure on the inside of our knee joint and the outside of our knee joint. In addition to that, if you don't have strong and coordinated muscles in your lower leg and your upper leg, and even in your hip, it's going to put a lot of pressure on the joint rather than use those muscles to support the joint. Why the drinking bird is so important is because it teaches your hip to stabilize the knee from side to side by activating your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, even your lower leg, and even all these tiny stabilizer muscles inside your hip that keep the knee going forward and backwards just like it's supposed to. So, here's how we're gonna start off. I'll show you the easiest variation of the drinking bird that you can use to build strength, and then I'll show you two harder variations that you can move on to if that first variation starts feeling too easy for you. Let's jump in. Okay, the first variation of the drinking bird that I wanna teach you is called the supported high knee. This is a good exercise to start with. Move slow and controlled and really pay attention to your form and your balance as it will serve you when you do the next more difficult variation. So first you're gonna need a nice chair or a wall or a dresser, something that's nice and sturdy that you can use for support that you'll need for balance. From there, we're gonna start by just putting one foot flat on the ground and really, really trying to plant that foot firmly. And the goal will be to have your heel as well as both sides of your foot in contact with the ground the whole time. And it's helpful to think about gripping the ground or squeezing your shoe with your toes. When you do this, it's gonna build a really stable foundation for balance, which is what's really important at strengthening those hip muscles that stabilize the knee joint. From there, you're gonna lift the other knee up and you're gonna hold on to this support next to you. Now, right here, what you wanna make sure is that your pelvis is straightforward and balanced from side to side. Oftentimes when people lift their knee up, their hip will also go up like this. So you wanna make sure to avoid that. The hip stays nice and balanced in the middle as we come like this. Now, as you hinge forward through the hips, what you're gonna do is put the weight on the heel that's planted on the ground, bend the knee slightly, and try to hinge forward through the hips. Now, as you come into this position right here, what you should ideally feel is the muscles through the outside of your hip right here, the ones that stabilize the rotation of your thigh are gonna be working very hard. If you don't feel them, you're welcome to just sit in this position, kind of play around with the weight distribution on your foot and play around with the direction your knee is pointing until you feel those glute muscles inside the hip working a little bit more. And again, in this position, make sure you're not opening your hip up like this, the hips stay balanced and forward, just like we talked about the entire time. What you can do is move slow and controlled, forward, and then stand up nice and tall, still driving through the heel, but extend the hip with your glute. So what I mean by that is this, don't think about driving your knee backwards like this, think about driving your glute forward like this, almost like you're about to take a step forward at the end of the high knee. Now again, moving slow and controlled, you can practice this exercise for about 60 seconds, on one leg, nice and slow and controlled as you go back and forth, keeping that back flat too. Don't round the back as you come up and down. And then rest for 10 or 15 seconds and switch sides and do it with the other leg. If you can do this for three rounds with good form, then let's go on to the next more difficult variation. If you're enjoying the way that these movements are helping you feel better in your body, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Click the subscribe button and then hit that little bell icon and we'll send you a notification every time we post a new video like this to help you move better and feel better in your body. 
The next variation of the drinking bird is called the high knee. This is really gonna start to challenge your balance. So make sure you move slow and controlled as you do this movement. Just like with the easier variation, plant your foot flat, grip the ground with your toes, and make sure all the points of your feet are in contact with the ground. From there, keep your pelvis in the center, lift your foot up like this, and find your balance. Now you can use this foot for support as you do this exercise if you start to lose your balance. Once you do though, pause, make sure you reestablish your balance before you lift your foot up, okay? Really moving slow and controlled is important with this. From here, you're going to stick that foot back. You're gonna to come to a place where you can just tap your toe behind you, right here, right? And you're still putting the majority of the weight on your heel, so you're not bringing your knee forward like this. You're hinging through the hip and pushing your butt backwards. So from a side angle, you're hinging your hip and pushing your butt backwards with the majority of the weight on your heel and a slight knee bend, okay? Once you tap that toe, nice tall flat back from tailbone to the top of the head, nothing is rounded forward like this. Then you wanna drive into the heel and you wanna squeeze your butt muscle as you extend the hip to the top position. Slowly but surely come back down, nice and balanced. And same thing, squeeze that butt muscle. It's also very helpful with knee pain to look down and make sure that as you're doing this exercise, your knee's not wobbling all over from side to side. If it is, then go back to the supported high knee and practice that more until you have a little bit more stability and balance within your foot and your hip. Now, if you can do this exercise slow and controlled, finding your balance for a minute on the right leg and a minute on the left leg with good form, then let's go on to the full one leg drinking bird. If you're enjoying these movements and how we show you beginner, intermediate, and advanced variations of them, then you'll love the workouts that we offer over at WeShape. Every single workout has personalized movements just for you that are gonna help you achieve your goals based on your goals, your availability, and your individual capabilities. If you wanna try one of our workouts for free, just go to WeShape.com or click the link in the profile below. The One Leg Drinking Bird is one of my absolute favorite movements for anybody with knee pain. Now this is an advanced variation, so move slow and controlled and make sure you've mastered the supported high knee and the high knee first before moving on to the one-legged drinking bird. From there, what you'll do is find your balance on one foot with the majority of the weight in your heel and making sure your entire foot is in contact with the ground. Lifting your knee and keeping your pelvis straight forward like this, not twisted from side to side or twisted like this, you're going to hinge through the hip, putting the weight in your heel and you're gonna come as far forward as you can without touching the ground with that back foot. Slow and control, right? And in this position, squeeze your glute and drive into the heel and lift your knee up like this. That's a very difficult movement to not have twists and turns and all kinds of stuff in your body. So the goal is, imagine if from your left heel all the way to your head, all the way your arms, everything, that doesn't change at all. And the only thing that's moving is this leg moving forward and backward as your whole body goes through that. So from a side angle, here's what I mean. Everything stays in one line as you come forward. And as you come up, no rounding of the back like this, no twisting from side to side. So practice this movement very slowly and really focus on balance and coordination as you do it. Try practicing it for 60 seconds on the right leg, shake it out. 60 seconds on the left leg, and if you can do that a few times around, you're going to awaken all the muscles of your hips that are going to help stabilize the knee, and it's gonna make that knee feel a whole lot better. All right, there you have it. Three variations of the drinking bird, my favorite lower body exercise for people with bad knees that really can help you strengthen the muscles around your hip to stabilize that knee and take the strain off of your knees and regain some of that strength that you want. Now, I hope you let us know how your knees are feeling after trying those out and which variation worked best for you. Also, I hope you'll stick around and check out our next video right here because I bet you're gonna love it. I'll see you there.